everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Rachel and today I am doing a little intro for some videos that I filmed a while back. I have decluttered my entire makeup collection and after a number of requests from you guys, I decided to film that process for you. There will be a video going up every day this week, starting today, and I will go through sort of each of the categories and you will see my thoughts on the different products I have, what I'm gonna keep, what I'm giving away, what I'm selling, what needs to go in the bin because it's way too old. And I hope you enjoy that. I decided to put all these videos up at once just so for those of you who really love this kind of stuff, you get a new video every day. Yay! For those of you who get sick of my face, maybe you'll watch one or two this week and then save the others for later. And if you absolutely hate decluttering and just don't care about it at all, which, hey, totally understand, then at least it's only a week and then hopefully next week I'll have some other type of content that you will enjoy. So that's all I really needed to say. These are all long videos. It's a lengthy process and I like to talk, so be warned. Put this on in the background, grab a snack, fold your laundry, whatever you need to do to pass the time. If you do enjoy this content, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you would like to see more. Okay, on to the decluttering. P.S. I totally didn't do my hair or really my face for this intro. It's Sunday and who can be bothered on a Sunday? I'm not going anywhere. Apologies for not making myself look a little bit more presentable. We're keeping it real here. Plus who declutters in a full face of makeup anyway? Not this girl. I'm going to start my decluttering process here, which is my eyeshadow palettes, mainly eyeshadow palettes. I think there might be a few face palettes in here, but it's majority eyes. I have already cleared out this drawer pretty much. There really wasn't much in this, and my idea is to move my palettes into this drawer, the ones that I keep, purely because I want a drawer for skincare so I don't need to have anything on top of my vanity or my desk, whatever you'd like to call it. And right now, uh, any kind of moisturizers or setting spray, stuff like that, they has to sort of be up there because there's no space for them anywhere else. So palettes down here, have a drawer for skincare and I may shuffle other things as they go. Currently in here was just a bit of junk. I've cleared it all out. I do have this Marc Jacobs palette, which should be in this drawer, but it's currently overflowing, which is why it's down here. And then just this, which I may use, I may not use. I'm gonna move that out of the way for now. Marc Jacobs palette, I am going to keep. This was a limited edition product, and even though I probably don't use it as much as I should, I'm going to try. It has some beautiful different formulas in there and has a really nice big mirror. So for now, I'm gonna keep that one. It is beautiful, it's a little bit dirty. I need to wipe these down. So let's put this to the keep pile. I am gonna work in a to keep, to definitely give away, and then maybe I'll have a maybe pile where it'll be something that I have to sort of look back again and review. We'll see how we go. My goodness, I can't even get this drawer open because it's literally that full. Just going from the top here, this is actually a new palette that I was given from Designer Brands. It's it's actually quite lovely for a Designer Brands, which is like an Australian drugstore brand. However, I honestly don't think that I will ever use it because I don't really wear eyeshadow that often anymore and I do have a lot of palettes. So for now, I'm gonna put that in the giveaway pile. The next one I have here is from Nude by Nature. Again, this is relatively new. I think I got this at a Priceline event. It's a lovely mirror, lovely rose gold packaging, but I just don't see myself using these shadows. There's two blues, which I think do actually go with brown eyes, but for me, I just, I never gravitate towards blue. This particular color just screams like 80s to me, and I just, I don't think I'll pull it off. So I'm gonna put that in the to giveaway pile as well. What have we got here? Oh, this is the Ben Nye Pressed Color Palette. I've had this for a very long time. I think I picked this up at one of my first ever eye mats. I think I even hauled it way back when. I think it's still fine. It's powders, I've kept them sort of well. So this, I think I will put in the to giveaway pile. I just don't reach for it. This might be something that I could sell to somebody who's a makeup artist. This would be awesome. But for somebody who already has a ton of blushes, I don't tend to reach for palettes like this that often. What have we got here? We've got a couple of little ones on top. This is a small Becca palette. I remember when this one was all the rage. I can't actually even remember what this one is called. Does it say on the back? Oh yes, the Ombre Nudes Eye Palette. Really kind of like creamy formula, very wearable shades. I just realized I probably should have grabbed myself something to wipe my hands with because I'm gonna end up with stuff everywhere. But yes, for now, I think I'll keep this one. It's 
very travel friendly. Not a lot of variation in the colors, but they are types of colors that I would wear and matte, which is what I tend to gravitate towards. I have a little Marc Jacobs one here. This is one of the, is it the Lolita palette? Yes, the Lolita palette. I know that, I think these have recently been re-released uh, or maybe there was products that were added to this line. I think I picked this up in the States and mine's always had a dodgy clip, but I think for the price I paid, and again, because they're wearable colors, I'm gonna put that into the to keep pile for now, but that may be one that I review later. Inglot, this was a do it yourself, another eye mats uh, put together kind of thing. Inglot shadows are beautiful, beautiful quality, and you can now get them a little bit more easily in Australia. We do have a uh, little sort of uh, either stores or uh, counters, but I just, I don't reach for this really ever. So I think I'm gonna put that in the two giveaway pile. Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye, one of my all time faves, definitely will be keeping this one. Uh, Too Faced Sweet Peach, another relatively new one, lovely, lovely shades, lovely formula, definitely will be keeping that one. What have we got? More Too Faced. Now this is where I'm unsure because I really like the chocolate bar palette. However, I really want, I got this really early on and this is when the, the packaging was thicker, if you can see here, they've recently re-released this, was well, not recently, it was actually a while back now, in a thinner packaging. And I just don't like the fact that this takes up extra space. So maybe I could potentially either pass this one on or sell it. And maybe I will look at repurchasing with the thinner packaging in the future. I know that sounds really terrible, um, but I just know that space is such a high commodity for me. So uh, for now, this is in the to go pile. We have a couple of Zoeva palettes here. These were both uh, gifted to me from the brand. We have the Nude Spectrum palette, really nice palette, and then also the Warm Spectrum palette. These are actually a great eyeshadow formula. I really enjoy them. I'm not super pedantic with my eyeshadow formulas as long as they work. Um, I, like I said, I just don't use eyeshadows that much anymore, but these are nice, thin, lightweight, they do get a bit dirty, but I think I will hold on to these for now because I can definitely uh, use those in the future. Uh, the Balm Bon Voyage palette. This is a great little palette, but I just really don't find myself reaching for it. There's some wearable shades and some a little bit more out there colors, but I think I'm gonna have to let this one go. A couple of MAC palettes here. These I created, or I think at least this one I created while I was in the US when MAC is sold at sort of less than half the price that it is in Australia. For now, I will keep a hold of these. To be honest, I feel like they take up a lot of space and I just, I don't reach for them that much. Maybe I'll look at getting uh, a Z palette or one of the ones that holds a little bit more and put them all together. Uh, but I will keep these for now. Another Balm palette, this is the Balm Jovi Rockstar palette. Really cute little concept that they have here with some eyeshadows and then a highlight blush. And then down here you have some uh, lip colors, but again, don't reach for it. So this one, I think I am going to pass on. Another do it yourself one here. This is Zoe, uh, not Zoe, but a Z palette, sorry. And I believe that all these shadows are Makeup Geek, fantastic quality, fantastic formula. I will definitely be holding on to these. However, I do have a MAC cream blush here. This is Lady Blush, and this is really old. So I think I'm going to get rid of that, and I will hold on to this palette. Okay, what else do we have here? More Zoeva. We have the Entope, Entope palette, a really nice kind of cool toned palette. This shade, unfortunately, shattered for me, but I will hold on to these for now. This one is also the Naturally Yours from Zoeva. Again, really pretty wearable shades. This is a little bit warmer in tone. I will hold on to these for now. Another balm, this is the Nude Tude. Remember, I'm feeling very nostalgic back in the day when this was used quite a bit. I had the naughty version that had the, the naked girls in it. Really nice colors and a mix of uh, shimmers and mattes. I don't reach for this one very often, but I think I will hold on to it for now. Uh, and just see, maybe I'll review the ones that I'm holding on to because I am keeping a lot of neutral palettes, which admittedly, they are what I use, 
but do I really need 50 palettes that all have the same shades? Oh, sorry, I don't know. I have two Lorac palettes here, the Pro, I think this is the Pro 1 and the Pro 2. I think I probably prefer the Pro 1. This is definitely more warm in tone and I do actually think the cooler tones probably look better on me even though I gravitate towards warm. I will hold on to both of these for now because they don't take up a lot of space but I think I'll need to review. <laughs> Same with these, the Urban Decay Naked palettes. I used these quite a bit um, and have used them, but even though they've kind of had their moment in the spotlight and aren't really talked about much anymore, they still are decent enough palettes. And I think they're a good reference point because a lot of people have these. So I will hold on to these ones. It doesn't look like I'm letting go of much, but I promise you. We're, we're gonna try and at least half this draw. <laughs> Two Steeler palettes here. Oh, these bring back memories. This is the Steeler in the Moment palette. There's quite a few purpley shades in this one. I think I'm gonna let this one go because I just, I just don't reach for it. And then we have the Steeler in the Light. I was a little bit late in getting this palette, but uh, I do enjoy it. I don't know what to do with this one. Oh, you know what? I think I'm gonna put this in the Let Go. I've got to be ruthless and right now so far I haven't been. <laughs> what do we got here? This one is from Gorgeous Cosmetics. Ah, this is another face palette. I did a video uh, with Gorgeous Cosmetics a while back. They sent me a whole bunch of stuff and I, I tried it out on camera and I was actually really quite impressed. I do like this but I just have so many blushes and highlights that I don't find that I reach for this enough. Whereas I feel like for somebody who didn't have a, a lot in their collection, this would be a great place to start because you've kind of got all different tones of blushes, different highlights, all in the one thing. You wouldn't need to buy anything else. So I think I'm going to pass this one on. We're making some progress here. Here I have five of the Vizart, Viziart. I don't know if I ever really worked out the correct way to pronounce these. But this formula is probably one of the most top-notch eyeshadow formulas out there. It is a pro brand and these palettes are quite expensive. So I definitely think I'll hold on to them. Something like this is not one that I'll reach for. This is the editorial sort of set of shades and it's obviously for editorial work. But I do like to have something like this in my collection. So if I do ever need a bright color, this is basically all I need to keep in all the other sort of crazy palettes I can let go of. I do have some of the neutral ones, these deep shades here, the more cooler toned palettes. So for now, I will be holding on to these ones. We have a palette from NARS, it's the Narcissist palette. And this is their, I can't even remember what this formula is called. What is it? Uh, the Jewel Intensity, that's right. The Jewel Intensity eyeshadows. This was quite a nice palette, quite interesting, but I don't reach for it enough. It can be used wet, and dry and some really pretty colors, but I think this might be one that I pass on or maybe even sell. So if anybody's interested out there, <laughs> shoot me a message, let me know um, if you think you'll use it. I just would rather somebody actually get some use out of this since I'm not. The Tarte Tartlet palette, this one, I really like. It's all mattes, very wearable shades, nice compact, great mirror, great for traveling. I'm gonna keep that one. Oh, this brings back memories. I've kept the packaging of this. So let's pull this out from the bottom here. This is the Sigma Paris palette. And I've had this for a long time because this is probably one of the first sort of YouTuber collaboration products that I can remember. Certainly the first one that I think I ever bought. And think about how many YouTuber collaboration products there are now, how many YouTubers have their own cosmetic brands. It's just nuts. But this was the first one. It's actually really pretty. I just don't use it. So I think this is one I might pass on. I could potentially sell. If there are any makeup collectors out there or anybody who really wants this, let me know. Um, but yeah, I've even got this still. Look, Petri Lude and X Sparkage and MAC NC40 Makeup by Tiffany D. This is, wow, some like YouTube history right here. Maybe I'll even hold on to this. I don't know. We'll see. But that's the Sigma Paris palette. That's in the to go. This one here is from NYX. 
Again, it's a cute little palette, but I just don't find myself reaching for these little things. So that can go in the to go. This is the Revlon Eyes, Cheeks, Lips, the Romantic Nudes. I held onto this one. I got a few of the other variations, but to be honest, I wasn't impressed with any of these. I think for somebody who had not a lot of makeup or no makeup and sort of just wanted a little bit of something or maybe for a younger teen just starting out this might be worthwhile but to be honest I found the concept and the actual execution a bit disappointing from Revlon so I'm going to put that in the to-go pile. This one's from Urban Decay it's the what does it say here Beauty with an Edge palette. This has pretty much all shimmery shades bar I think blackout in the top there. An interesting concept, some of these shades like Sin I know for sure is definitely in uh, the Naked palette, I think the Naked 2 palette. So I think I'm going to pass this one on just because I don't find that I reach for it and it's basically brand new. I feel like we're getting somewhere. Oh, the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty palette. This didn't get a ton of positive reviews. I've got to admit I don't love the packaging but I actually got quite got on quite well with the formula of these. They're quite a soft shade and not overly pigmented, but I found that that worked for me in the style of eyeshadow that I tend to wear. So for now, I think I'm gonna hold on to this one, revisit it and see how I go. A couple of Maybelline palettes here, the nudes and the blush nudes. Both of these are lovely, but I think if given the choice, I would pick other brands formulas and these shades while are nice dupes for say like the Urban Decay Naked and Naked 2 palette. Since I have those, I don't necessarily need these. So I think I'm gonna pass these on so somebody else can get some enjoyment out of them. Got another one here, this is the Models Prefer Nudes. Again, um, very sort of wearable shades and if you don't have a lot, this is great or if you don't have a lot of money to spend, this is great. But I just, I've gotta let some things go. So I'm gonna let that go. I've got a bunch of individual NYX eyeshadows here that I got in a advent calendar in 2016 and I think I let go of some and then kept the shades that I thought I would reach for but to be perfectly honest I just don't reach for single eyeshadows I don't have the time to sort of faff around with them and I mean I could potentially depot them especially since this is cardboard but again I just don't think that I need to given all the other eyeshadows that you just saw that I went through. So I'm gonna pass these on. Maybe some of my friends and family could get some enjoyment out of these because they are some really nice shades. Okay, what's this one? Ah, oh, this is the Tarte Rainforest After Dark palette. I really do like these little um, palettes that Tarte bring out, these round ones. And this one was quite interesting because it had a highlight, a bronzer, a blush and some really nice wearable shades, both mattes and uh, shimmers. I know I think I actually did a video with this palette as well, but again, I just don't reach for this and I really would rather somebody else get some enjoyment out of it. So, okay, I think I'm gonna let this one go. Although I really like this, <laughs> the snake motif and everything. It's just, it's gorgeous. Oh, I don't know. Okay. That's in the maybe pile for now. I've got some of the, the Shishi or Chi Chi uh, palettes. Again, I used to keep these for videos when I was doing um, like affordable makeup looks or if I needed to do comparisons, but I just don't really make those kind of videos anymore. And for me, I don't want to hold on to things just for the sake of it. So I'm going to let these ones go. Okay, another gorgeous cosmetics one here. This one, I think it's another face palette. Yes, it is. This one is, has a little bit more variation. We've got some blushes, some bronzers, contour colors, something a little bit cooler here, some sort of highlights or setting powders. You know what, I think I'll hold on to this one just um, to see if I could potentially reach for it and use it a little bit more. The Benefit Cheekathon palette, this one is great. And again, it's just been hidden away in a drawer. So I wanna try and get this out and use it a little bit more, but I think I will keep that one. Oh, the Lorac Mega Pro. Man, I remember when this was what everybody was looking for. Again, 
It's really beautiful and I think this will go in the maybe pile. I think I need to reassess, see if I can reach for it a little bit more, use it, find some way. Otherwise, I should probably let this go, although it'll be hard. I think they're actually re-releasing this again. So for now, we'll keep, but we'll have to, we'll see, we'll reassess. Oh my goodness, I've had this for so long. This is the Makeup Forever Flash Color Case. I remember when everybody was using this, which is kind of crazy because it's definitely more of a pro product and yet like people were just using this in tutorials all the time. Crazy. Part of me thinks maybe I should keep this for more like costume makeup, face painting. I don't know. I think I'm going to put that one to the side because I really, I don't, I don't use it and I rarely dress up and need anything like that, but yeah, I think I've got to let that one go. Well, this was a makeup store case that I had some individual ones in, but I think I'm just gonna throw that out because I really don't need that anymore. We have a NYX Glitterati Cream Palette. This I think I've held on to for years and years just because, oh, I don't even know if I can open it. Oh, there we go. I thought that I could potentially use it for, uh, I don't know, some crazy tutorials or uh, some kind of dress up thing, but to be honest, it is so old that, I don't know, I think this one probably needs to be thrown out, especially since it is a cream product. We're almost done, guys. <laughs> Two Crush Cosmetics palettes. These were like the BH Cosmetics ones or the very Asians that they had of these 100 eyeshadow or whatever they were, 99 eyeshadow, every color under the sun kind of palettes, which were great. And if you use a lot of different colors these would be awesome but I just I can't remember the last time I even looked at these I certainly don't use them and I think maybe again somebody who was just starting out in makeup or wanted to try and recreate tutorials that they saw online particularly young kids because I know how much they love doing that something like this would be perfect so I think I'm going to pass these ones on as well nice empty drawer okay I am now going to put everything back into this one. So everything is back in now. I have pretty much sorted each of the palettes here by brand. I have the MAC and the Makeup Geek. Then we move in to the Zoeva. Then I think I've got, yep, the Balm Nude, the Lorac, the Kat Von D, uh, Too Faced, Urban Decay, my Vizart ones here, Eat Cosmetics, Tarte, and then I've got these two smaller ones on top. I do have the Lorac and the Marc Jacobs sitting flat down here just because there's really no other way to fit it. And then over here, I have the two face palettes, the Gorgeous Cosmetics and the Benefit for now, just because I think ideally I'd want them in the drawers with the other skincare or the other like bronzers and uh, blushes, sorry. So they're sort of all together, but all looking nice and neat. And just so you can see, this is what I'm getting rid of today. I feel like I've made decent progress and I've definitely cleared some space. So first draw down, a fair few to go.